Hey everyone, Kelly Dean Allen here. Today on Quick Riffs, we have a little Canadiana for you with the track Crash and Burn by Canadian rock legends April Wine. Arguably the heaviest song that the band ever wrote. Now, throughout the 70s and much of the 80s, April Wine stuck pretty closely to the formula that made them such a massive success, at least here in Canada. Sadly and strangely, not so much elsewhere in the world. Uh, you know, straight ahead classic rock, uh, offset with a liberal amount of very well written rock ballads. That was their style and it worked a charm for them. Rarely did they ever venture into heavy metal territory until this track from 1981. This one kicks some serious ass, uh, has always been a huge fan favorite, and like I previously said, is likely the heaviest song that the band ever put to vinyl. Uh, a real hard driving track that's always been one of my favorites. Uh, anyway, enough said. Let's close in, learn how to play it, yeah? Good then, Crash and Burn and April Wine from their 1981 album, Harder Faster, if I'm not mistaken, uh, and an aptly titled album for this track, as it is one of the harder and faster songs that April Wine ever recorded. Uh, we're in standard tuning, just dealing with a lot of power chords here, starting with a three finger F sharp power chord right here at the second fret position. Going to get down to an A power chord, then drop into a B power chord up to a C sharp power chord at the fourth fret, move it into D. And then slide out of that, right? And you're gonna repeat that four times. Right? Between each pick strike of these power chords, a little mute, right? Before the C sharp, there's actually a double mute right to really give the thing its flow right so you repeat that four times right at the beginning of the track and then we drop into the intro solo which we're not covering in this tutorial but I'll show you what's going on underneath the rhythm parts That right there. We're going to repeat that, uh, I think, four times, that little pattern there. F sharp down to A, F sharp down to B. All palm muted, right? Except for the, the, uh, the A power chord and the B power chord. But every time you're up here on this, uh, the F sharp, it's, you know, it's all palm muted. We just repeated that four times. Now leading right into the first verse, we're gonna to go to uh, A again and then into B, which kind of kickstarts the verse, right? With a little mute before you hit that A power chord. And then you drop into B, and then we're into the first verse. We're gonna go back up to F sharp, and start playing a little bit quieter. And then we're gonna go off to E, like an E power chord. And we're gonna repeat that eight times. Leading into the second half of the first verse, we're going to grab an F sharp, move it up to G sharp, and then move it up to A. And then back to F sharp again. Now, the second half of the first verse changes ever so slightly. Instead of going off to E every single time after the F sharp, right, which we did during the first half of the verse, this time we're going to go off to A every second time. Right? And then leading into the chorus, B, A, and then we're back into the main riff that we started the song with, which is the chorus. Right, and 
we're going to repeat it five times during the chorus. Four times with the vocals and then one extra time before heading into the second verse. Second verse is the second half of the first verse, right, where we're going down to A. <laughs> four times. D, A, main riff. That's a fun riff to play. And that, my friends, is How You Play Crash and Burn by April Wine. Certainly uh, hope you found that helpful and uh, enjoyed the video. And if you did, please hit that like button. Drop me a subscribe if you haven't done that already, as that would be awfully kind and helpful to my channel. Uh, hit that notification bell so you know when I upload something new as well. Hope you're well out there, and uh, we'll see you next time. Cheers.